There, there we go. go. There we go. We got a Gokumarari and Laggy Ninja. Oh, that's Gimmer. <laughs> that's who? <laughs> Real Gimmer? Real Gimmer? Oh. Oh my god. The uh, age of pressure is looking real nasty. I know this says about like almost over with that percentage. Oh, actually, Lagging Ninja took uh, yeah. game one. Okay, Lagging Ninja, not a name I'm familiar with, but taking oh, game no, one yeah. over, taking game one over fun, that is no small feat. I mean, with Aegis, um, pretty, you know, as you know, pretty damn good character with um, absurd frame data, absurd hitboxes. Um, she does have Foresight, which can make this matchup pretty damn easy for her, just giving her a lot of neutral skips mm -hmm. against Duck Hunt. So I wonder if that's where fallen trip up with against Laggy Ninja. Or maybe there was another character. Yeah, I, I don't honestly, know. It's, it's fun. They, they probably played something else game one. Okay, Ooh, there, I guess it was just Duck Hunt all the way. Really? Falcon switch after the Aegis? Okay. Oh, well, you know what? It makes sense. I figure we try out the Falcon here on Small Battlefield. Yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, Mithra, I feel like does insanely well in this matchup with the foresight like you were talking about before just going to be able to kind of cheat their way through these lanes that fawn likes to set up but falcon of course having that rushdown capability 
going to be able to do something similar, but just has to put himself at so much more risk. Yo, at this moment, Laggy has turned themselves into a target because Fawn is just aiming and choosing right now with the can, you know, had the duck in the back, the frizz or is it frisbees? Uh, clay pigeon. The clay pigeon. There you go. Oh, I forgot for a second. <laughs> But, I mean, even if Laggy tries to push their way through with just hitboxes, they don't have that sword disjoint to really safely avoid Ooh. trades. But no nasty. trade needed there. Holy ping pong. Yeah, no, like, you gave up your neutral skip just to try and, like, you just have straight up, like, rush down options. Maybe this was more of the comfort pick for Laggy. But so far, Laggy has not been able to deal with the duck hunt, especially getting up air juggle like this. Getting stuffed out constantly on like the aerial approaches because it's just these constant hitboxes, these projectiles as well. Just making Laggy really suffer for every option that they choose. I can on the other side of the stage, man, that Laggy was able to get away from one ledge situation, but instead oh. found themselves in another double dunk. Triple? Can I got one more for the culture? Perhaps? Maybe? Oh my god. Oh, the can? Yep. That coverage this is Fawn's nice. ledge now. Yeah, we own the ledge. Sorry, this is all Fawn's own only. You can't even leave, bro. Alright, I guess you can leave now. Oh my god. Laggy has to avoid two players with this. Falcon Kick coming through. Clocks the Sheriff, but not, not quite finding the dog, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's like a solid idea in the right direction, perhaps. But it's like one of those moves you have to throw every now and then. Because... It's a verse option. You gotta hit it when they're least expecting it. Another can. Laggy just cannot find his way out of this situation. Yeah, starting to use double jumps to like figure out a different approach, but Fawn has just been like so demanding with the space control and the coverage from disadvantage as well. The uppie is still not gonna do it though. It's the can! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought that was almost a lost stuff. You can never count out the can. It's like Snake C4. It's always there. It's like Snake C4 if Snake C4 could move. Yeah, and just like stay out there forever. It's tracking you down. Yeah, well that stock is a race, but like he still has to deal with like the gauntlet of cans, play pigeons, the sheriffs. Look at this! The squad... Tries to find his way through with the down air, but instead now down to his last stock. Alright, let's see. Laggy's just been trying to make like this explosive character work that Falcon is. I mean, hey! They've been having some success with the down airs landing, but just no follow-ups. Just trying to go for a few reads here and there whenever they get in the position. But... It's not necessarily enough to pull the trigger against Fawn. It just feels like Fawn's Ooh, in... Oh, there, never mind. That's what you need. All that's right. what you need right there. There's that explosive potential of Captain Falcon. Yo, you don't need no combos, no nothing. Just throw a raw move. Raw need. Who, right. care, who cares if you lose neutral a hundred times? You win it once, you can find that stock. That's right. We don't need neutral. We got finesse like that. But all right. You still got to run the gauntlet, bro. It's still a maze. Oh! Okay. All right. All right, Can trying to reset the situation. Good stuff from Fawn. Yeah, Can still just meeting the air to airs as Laggy Ninja just tries to approach Fawn. Fawn just oh turtling up. Layers. That's right. Commit to the jab on shield. Eat the Can. Come on, you got to get your protein up, bro. That's for you. It's a present for you, bro. You got to eat it up. Fawn just chilling underneath this platform. Laggy Ninja not wanting to commit to anything just yet. Gotta watch that can. Yeah, Laggy just being like super patient on this last stock, knowing that this is their last hurrah with a 121%. Yeah. One situation could set up the end, and that will be the end of Laggy Ninja as Welcome Rari takes the set 2 1. Such good conditioning, too. Fawn had the can down in front of the platform, forcing Laggy to jump. Making excellent use of the platform and ledge for that set. All right. In the meantime, though, got to vote 